Good morning, War Eagles. My name is Hunter Crabtree, and this is this week's announcements. If any of you went to the info meeting about Color Guard on Wednesday, tryouts will start March 1st. If you have any um, questions, please talk to Ms. Talent or email her at beth.talent at halco.org. Hi, I'm Ms. Talent, and I'm the Color Guard sponsor for Chesty High School War Eagle Marching Band. Um, that we would love to have anyone who is interested in being a part of the marching band experience as part of the Color Guard um, that to come out for our tryouts. Tryouts are actually starting, practices for tryouts are starting on Monday, March the 1st. And so you don't have to have any experience whatsoever in the Color Guard in order to come out. We will show you everything you need. Um, that we love to have students who love to dance, um, that have, love to sing, um, that love to um, uh, interact with music um, uh, and be a visual representative um, uh, of what that music is about. Um, uh, we're really excited. We are um, uh, getting ready to start a spring competition season. Um, uh, and uh, so we're looking forward to our fall competition season and that's what these tryouts are gonna be for. Um, uh, any student who is going to be in grades nine through 11 next year is um, uh, eligible to come. And so even if you have brothers or sisters that are in eighth grade and that they would like to come up um, and see if they want to um, participate in Color Guard also, they are welcome to come. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to stop by my room. I'm in room 155, um, uh, or you can email me at beth.talent at halco.org. All right, hope to see you there. Attention all seniors who are bilingual, please visit Mr. Walker in room 78 to talk to him about getting your Hall County bilingual seal on your diploma. There's going to be a lot going on this week in War Eagles, so let's see what the weather's going to be like with Jack Kennedy. Uh, where am I? What day is it? Oh, it's Friday. Hey, Chester T. <laughs> it's Friday. Today, it's going to be rainy with a high of 47 and a low of 46. Chance of rain, 82%. Saturday, it's going to be cloudy. High of 64, low of 54, chance of rain, 55%. Sunday, it's going to be cloudy, high of 69, low of 56, and a chance of rain of 25. Thank you, Jack. Now on Saturday, there will be a uh, JV baseball game at 11 a.m. here against North Hall, so please come out to support your JV War Eagles. Hello, Chastity. I forgot to bring up that there will be a game on Friday at Southeast Whitfield. Uh, the Varsity Girls will be playing at 5.30 p.m. and the Varsity Boys will be playing at 7.30 p.m. This is a soccer game, so please go out and support your War Eagles. Now, this week is going to be the last week of Black History Month, and we're going to be talking about Katharina Johnson. She was a woman that worked at NASA in the early 60s, early mid-60s, and she was a big part in discrimination and women's rights. All right, Katherine Johnson was one of, or actually the first black female who worked for NASA, which is pretty impressive. Um, she was a mathematician and an engineer. Uh, today she impacts us, well, even if you've seen the movie Hidden Figures, uh, you may have seen that in one of your science classes, or you may have read the book. So she has a book out as well about her life and what the group did. Uh, she impacts us today, not just for African Americans, but for all females. Uh, to have to keep striving to do what they need to do to get into positions such as we just have the first female vice president um, and she gives hope and inspiration to everyone through her actions that she did. Katherine Johnson is a very inspirational person in black history because she was she worked at NASA she was one of the first black women to work at NASA you know she was a rocket scientist they made a movie about her it's called Hidden Figures you maybe would have seen it in eighth grade, something like that. It's an okay movie, but that's not the point. The point is, Katherine Johnson was a very inspirational person, and I think that people should take after her, you know, for being such, you know, just a smart lady, and she was a, she was a rocket scientist. It was pretty cool. She's a pretty cool person. Katherine Johnson was a prominent figure in women's black history. When it comes to like getting higher up position at jobs, Katherine Johnson inspired a lot of people, not just women and not just people of color, pretty much any minority across the board, to go for those higher up positions. Her being at NASA really showed that people weren't just stuck to their racist roots, having really bad jobs all the time. Um, She's a great example of natural diversification in the workplace. 
um, as opposed to it being forced. So it comes off as a lot more genuine. Although Black History Month may be over, there are still plenty of people we did not mention who helped make a difference. For example, uh, we have Robert Smalls, Malcolm X, and Muhammad Ali. And there are still plenty more right behind me that you can come to the library and read about. Although the books may not be here by the time you, uh, by the time you get here and check them out, you can always ask a librarian on where you can find one so you can read about them and, and know more about who helped make a difference. Thanks for tuning in. That'll be all for this week. I hope everybody has a very safe weekend. And remember, go War Eagles. Good morning, War Eagles. Come right here with you, the better one. Don't these guys get like terrible news now?